Britt might not be a genius, but she knew when things fit and when they didn't, when pieces put together worked well to create a cohesive look, or when someone was trying too hard to be effortless. Something about Al didn't add up, like velvet and tulle sewn together. It made no sense. The way he carried himself, hunched and insecure, ran contrary to the tight, hard muscles on his chest and his quick reactions. Polyester, cotton, spandex, mixed shirt, if her fingers told the truth, which meant the material should be fitted. What about the horizontal stripes on the shirt? For a guy going to fashion school, he should know better. What she'd give to restructure his wardrobe. A flutter deep inside sent a wave of heat through her chest. Not a relationship, nothing permanent, no connection, nothing that could make her get hurt. Those were the rules that made life uncomplicated, if not a little lonely. What about enjoying something short term? Could be fun to make over Al. She caught a glimpse of him out of the corner of her eye as they hurried down the hall. His look came across as deliberately contrived. The boots were rugged but expensive and probably had never seen off-road terrain. The glasses hid those warm hazel eyes, and the tan, oakly satchel had a strap that had no smooth wear on it. Hey, nothing against any piece of clothing but these items seemed more expensive than an average college student could afford. She swallowed a nasty acid taste. Some students here could easily afford the $40,000 tuition fee plus living expenses. Other students, like Britt, cobbled together financial aid, grants, the SCAD Challenge Scholarship, and loans to pay for school. Usually, it was clear which students were which. She couldn't put a finger on it, but Al's ensemble didn't work. Quit playing critic. People could wear what they wanted as long as they were comfortable and happy. Nothing about Al seemed comfortable. A muscle in his tight cheek popped. Nothing about Al seemed happy either. A few fine lines next to his hazel eyes hinted that his age was closer to Brit's and he wasn't the typical 18 to 22 year old student. Sure, she liked the doesn't realize he's hot, introvert, intellectual in a beanie look, same as any gal. But the way he scanned the hallway and whipped his head over at a noise down the hall like a Doberman on sudden alert, out of place. The denim over his sturdy legs, too distressed, too symmetrical, faux shabby. He was trying too hard. Using her teeth to toy with the silver hoop on her lip, she sighed. She could judge him, or she could cut the guy a break.